Every now and then, I take some time out of my day to explore something about the Swift language that I don't know yet. There's a lot left to explore. I document my findings in a series I named What a Swift. If you're curious about the more subtle details of the Swift language, then this series is for you. If you've spent some time writing Swift, then you've probably come across a variable, constant or parameter of type any object. And you know what any object is, right? Don't worry. You're not alone. Let's take a look and dive into the bowels of the Swift standard library to find out. Fire up Xcode and create a new playground. Choose the blank template from the iOS section. Name the playground What a Swift. Tell Xcode where you'd like to save the playground and click Create. Clear the contents of the playground and declare a variable, my object, of type any object. If you pay close attention, you can see a first clue. Take a look at Xcode's auto completion suggestions when you type any object. Did you notice the letter T on the left? Xcode's auto completion menu shows us that any object is a type. That isn't surprising. But there's more. Xcode also tells us that any object is a protocol to which all classes implicitly conform. That's a start. Let's dive into the bowels of the Swift standard library to learn more about the any object protocol. Press command and click any object to navigate to the interface of the any object protocol. There isn't a lot of code to explore. Any object is defined as a public type alias. More interesting are the comments above the definition. The comments are very telling and answer some of the questions you might have. The protocol to which all classes implicitly conform. This summarizes what the any object protocol is and what you need to know about it. Every class implicitly conforms to the any object protocol. That's an interesting statement, but what does it mean? And why is that useful or important? Let's revisit the example we added to the playground earlier. Because the my object variable is of type any object, we know that the value stored in my object is an instance of a class. And that's also what the comments of the any object protocol tell us. You use any object when you need the flexibility of an untyped object, or when you use bridged Objective-C methods and properties that return an untyped result. Any object can be used as the concrete type for an instance of any class, class type or class only protocol. If you're familiar with Objective-C, then you've most likely come across the ID keyword. The ID type is used to point to an Objective-C object. The Any Object protocol is similar and it helps bridge the gap between Swift and Objective-C. The Swift standard library confirms this. The flexible behavior of the Any Object protocol is similar to Objective-C's ID type. For this reason, imported Objective-C types frequently use any object as the type for properties, method parameters and return values. The any object protocol seems to add a bit of flexibility to the Swift language. But we need to pay a small price for that flexibility. A class instance of type any object isn't always what you need or want. Take a look at this example. We define a class, person, with two variable properties of type string. First and last. We create an instance of the person class and assign it to the myPerson constant. Even though the compiler can infer the type of the myPerson constant, we explicitly declare myPerson as any object. The compiler doesn't complain since the person class implicitly conforms to the any object protocol. We also learned that any object can be used as a concrete type for an instance of any class class type or class only protocol. But remember that any object is a protocol, not a class type. Even though the example is a bit contrived, it illustrates why the any object protocol can be inconvenient to use. Because my person is of type any object, we cannot access the first and last properties of the person instance. Despite my person being of type any object, it remains a person instance. This is how the Swift standard library phrases this. Objects with a concrete type of any object maintain a specific dynamic type and can be cast to that type 
using one of the type cast operators. To access the properties and methods of the person instance, we need to downcast my person to a person instance. This means we typecast my person to the person type using a downcast operator. In this example, we use optional binding and a conditional downcast operator to safely downcast my person to the person type. Because the person constant is of type person, we can access the first and last properties of the person instance. Always remember that a downcast operation can fail. That's why the conditional downcast operator returns an optional. The AnyObject protocol is also useful to bridge the gap between Swift and Objective-C. Some Objective-C APIs use the AnyObject protocol to provide compatibility with Swift. I hope this exploration has taught you more about the AnyObject protocol, what it is and what it can be used for. Next time you encounter a variable, constant or parameter of type AnyObject, you know what it is and how to handle it.